All right, we've got a little KSAT Q&A with a kick here. We're going to talk about all things Fiesta. Think about it. Less than a week from today, next Thursday, Fiesta officially kicks off with Fiesta Fiesta at Travis Park. One of the changes that they're implementing this year, Steve Rosenauer joins us now live. He's the executive director of Fiesta San Antonio, Fiesta San Antonio Commission, but I like to say Fiesta San Antonio. Steve, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me tonight. All right, so I want to talk about at this point, you know, less than a week away, are things set? You guys good? You know, you just got your feet up right now, getting ready for Fiesta to <laughs> kick off next Thursday? Yeah, yeah, we're taking a siesta right now before Fiesta. Love no, it. it's, it's really, um, you know, it's really amazing. Everybody really pulls together in these last few days. There's always little details that have to be finalized, but we're very excited. Less than a week to go for Fiesta, but there's always some final details. The bleachers are getting built right now for the parades. A lot of the organizations are making their final plans, and it's uh, it's an exciting and nervous time at the same time. So we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. How long have you been involved with Fiesta? I've been involved uh, more than 25 years. I was with uh, the Oyster Bank in St. Mary's for a number of years and have been here at the Fiesta Commission for the last two and a half years. So obviously, so a, lot, a lot of time with Fiesta and really – you know, that's why I really love being involved in Fiesta and just watching the city come together to support all these great organizations and their causes. You know, that's why we do it. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I mean, obviously, it's something you're passionate about if you've been involved with it for this long. And, you know, just yeah. I, I love the camaraderie. I love the fact that this is one thing the city all gets behind other than, you know, when the Spurs win a world championship. <laughs> Fiesta, right. we know Fiesta is going to happen every year. We don't know about the Spurs. So I love that. Let's let's go through event by event. We, we have Fiesta Fiesta officially kicking off uh, Fiesta next Thursday at Travis Park. That's a change. Why the, change, why the change to Travis Park this year? You know, with the, uh, with the construction and the planned construction on Alamo and in Hemisphere, uh, we really looked at uh, different options and really kind of chose Travis Park for the new location, A, because it was downtown, but also because, you know, a lot of great organizations do great events in Travis Park, Jazz Alive and the Taco Fest and, so many different events, the ice skating rink. So we really thought that Travis Park is still keeps us downtown, but it puts us in a location that people are familiar with about attending events. So we really wanted to make sure that, that we did uh, have a great location for Fiesta Fiesta. It is the opening ceremony. It's going to be on April the 20th, uh, next Thursday from 4 to 10 p.m. So we're, again, we're looking forward to it. But again, finding a new home for Fiesta Fiesta this year, it was important to find a location that people are familiar with. Do you anticipate going back to Hemisphere in years to come? Well, the plan right now is once uh, Civic Park is is up and running for the organizations, uh, the discussion now is for the plan to move Fiesta Fiesta to uh, Civic Park, the Hemisphere construction. So we'll see how that looks for 24. But, um, yeah, we're really kind of working with the city and Hemisphere on all those great additions downtown uh, yeah. for the Hemisphere Park. Yeah, I love that idea. Yeah, moving it to the new Civic Park would be great. All right, and, and by the way, there's a lot of road construction uh, via park and ride, maybe the best way to get down to Fiesta Fiesta next Thursday. That, that's a great point. That, that's the best way um, for throughout Fiesta. So definitely go to VIA's website. They have specific listings of which events they're going to be servicing and which times and and for how much is going to be the round trip fare. Some organizations offer coupons for free beverage, free sodas, free uh, non-alcoholic beverages. So we really try to encourage everybody to take via park and ride or ride share as much as possible. All right, so after Fiesta Fiesta, we have the River Parade that takes place on Monday. Obviously unique. Like I like to say there are floats that really do. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, how excited are you for, the, for this event? You know what? I, I love the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. I think it is so unique. It highlights one of the main tourist attractions in Texas, which is the Riverwalk. But, yeah, to be able to tell people that this parade has floats that really float, I just think it's something that's super unique. And really, the Texas Cavaliers, you know, they do such a great job of raising money for children's charities that the purpose behind the event is amazing, in addition to just the fact of how they can pull up all these floats and make it look so great on the Riverwalk. So it's really a great combination of, of highlighting an iconic uh, San Antonio treasure with a great organization. All right, Battle of Flowers comes next. That's, of course, the Friday after the River Parade. So it's not this coming, it's not next Friday, not for a week from today, but two weeks from today, we have the Battle of Flowers. 
Yeah, uh, April 28th. We talk about that. And, and, and I, the parade route this year – compared to years past. Obviously, we're still there are a lot of construction still going on on Broadway, so that's a no-go right now. That's, that, that's correct, yeah. We're going to be keeping the same route as last year. Uh, it's going to start up on uh, Main Avenue by San Antonio College. And San Antonio College has been a great partner and supporter for the parades, letting the parades have the forming area there. They're going to have some parking available uh, for $15. It's going to be a, you know, a great experience. San Antonio College has really stepped up the last couple of years. So the parade route again will be like last year, start on Main and kind of wean its way through on uh, through Crockett Park, then through Madison Square Park on Lexington, um, eventually going to St. Mary's, to Brooklyn, to Avenue E. And the one change this year, though, and thanks to the city and, and public works, we're going to be able to actually extend the parade route and go further on Commerce all the way down to Santa Rosa and then Santa Rosa up to Martin. Last year, we had to end the parade at, at St. Mary's in Commerce. This year, uh, we're fortunate enough to be able to extend the route and have the the end of the parade back to a traditional location. See, Fiesta bigger and better than last yeah, year. That's right. And we, and we love Battle of Flowers. You know, that, that's the reason why Fiesta started. Uh, back in 1891, the ladies put together the first Battle of Flowers parade, and that's how Fiesta took off. So, you know, kudos to those ladies. They really have done a great job of keeping the spirit alive for 132 plus years absolutely and of course all the events that we've talked about you if you can't make it out there live we want you to make it out there live but of course we'll have them yes. broadcast on ksat 12. steve rosenauer yeah, thank you guys the ksat too for being such great supporters we really appreciate it if anybody looking for more information on the parades or the events go to our website fiesta san antonio.org fiesta san antonio.org you can get tickets there as well right that is correct. Yeah, we have a link to purchase parade tickets, whether it's bleachers or street chairs that are sold by a, about a 100 of our nonprofit organizations in San Antonio. I love so it. So, again, a great way to party with a purpose and support a lot of nonprofit organizations that support the citizens of San Antonio throughout the whole year. Yep. Bring us all together. Steve Rosenauer, Executive right. Director of Fiesta Commission San Antonio. Sir, I appreciate everything that you and your commissioners do, and I really appreciate you letting KSAP be part of it. So let's let's keep this going. Okay, you bet. Viva Fiesta. Viva Fiesta. Thank you, Steve. We'll be right back. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAP.